Homes for Love is a revolutionary way for homeowners, companies, and realtors to join together and make a positive impact in their community by donating significant contributions to Make-A-Wish Foundation, all through the sale of a home. Twelve-year-old Kevin Lee of Farmington Hills, Michigan, plays violin in the orchestra at his middle school. It's an activity in which he can participate fully. More rough and tumble fun poses a serious threat. Because I have this heart surgery thing, and it kind of stops me from doing stuff. Something can go wrong, and I could just die. It was just moments after his birth when doctors whisked Kevin away. They found out that his right ventricle didn't form when he was born, and that he was probably not going to see six months. The whole world stopped. My heart just dropped out of my stomach. It was terrible. Kevin underwent his first heart surgery when he was three days old. He spent his first month hooked up to a ventilator. I just wanted to hold him. I just wanted to pick him up and love him, and I couldn't even touch my own child. What did you say to him when you hold him for the first time? I love you, <laughs> and it's going to be okay. Kevin's had three more surgeries since, and some frantic trips to the ER. His heart remains susceptible to a chest impact or overexertion. I'm like running around and stuff, and I kind of just like stop and see how it feels. Sometimes it feels like a sword's going through your chest or something. He's still at, at high risk for sudden death, so it's every day. Kevin's parents are divorced. His father, Doug, lives in the Middle Eastern nation of Qatar and returns to visit once a year. Sports is a big part of their bond. I think that his dad not being here, that this was one thing that they share is football. That's something that him and his dad have always shared. Kevin is expecting a visit this fall, and being with his dad is part of his wish to meet his favorite player, Russell Wilson, and the Seattle Seahawks. So if somebody told you you could have your wish, I don't know, like tomorrow, what would you say? Oh, they're just going to have to wait. Because I ain't doing without my dad anymore. When Kevin and his extended family watch some Russell Wilson highlights, Are you ignoring me because football's on? Mm -hmm. They're not expecting to see a message from Coach Pete Carroll. Hey Kevin, this is Pete Carroll. I'm a coach at Seattle Seahawks. We want to extend an invitation to you. I know that you've been battling and competing like crazy, and we would love for you to come out here and visit us. The Seahawks are practicing, and you can come and bring your family with you. And I want to make sure you know that we're going to send you a little package here. Good luck. See you later. Go Seahawks. Did you hear that? <laughs> the coach's invitation leaves the family ecstatic for Kevin, but his reaction is a little bit muted. Why are you mad? Is there a part of your wish that's missing? Downstairs, hidden behind a wind-blown array of balloons, is someone who has traveled some 7,000 miles to be here on this day. This is uh, for you. Yes. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> I love you too, buddy. He's been through more than I'll ever be through my whole entire life. That's why, you know, to this day I call him Superman. Okay. It's good to see you. Let's go! Seahawks! Days later, Kevin and family roll up to the Seahawks training camp where a big time welcome awaits. Oh my God, that's for you. <laughs> With cheerleaders. Oh, yeah. Can I get a high five? And the Seahawks drum line. He gets a welcome from Coach Carroll and GM John Schneider. Congratulations, Kevin. Part of the Seahawks. The, uh, he signs Kevin to a five year deal. What do you think of the contract, first of all? Do you like it? Uh, sort of. I would like six years, but, you know, if they want five, they can do that. The newest Seahawk makes a bold prediction. I can tell you one thing. Okay. One thing. There will be a Super Bowl this year. They're chanting his name as Kevin makes his way to the equipment room, smiling 
high-fiving, and giving autographs. You're so cool, Kevin! There we go. He gets a helmet and his ankles taped. Are you fast? Yes. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> That's why I use the fast tape. Kevin and his dad check out practice for a bit. Let's go a little bit, let's see, here you go. Pete Carroll checks out his new player's potential. Finally, the boy who doesn't always get to play back home. What's up, young buck? Takes the field here with Russell Wilson and shows off his quarterback arm. You run up five yards, run out, like a run out route, and then go up right in between the two of them, okay? It's a touchdown, and his touchdown dance gets the whole team going. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> see you, buddy. I'll see you, okay? On his way out, Kevin sees his name on the Seahawks' all-time roster. <laughs> a fitting ending to his special day. We want to empower homeowners, corporations, and realtors to make a direct positive impact in their community by using a unique and easy tool, Homes for Love. Help make a wish come true. A wish helps children feel stronger, more energetic, more willing and able to battle their life-threatening medical conditions. For many, the wish marks a turning point in the fight against their illnesses. Doctors, nurses, and other health professionals say the WISH experience works in concert with medicine to make their patients feel better emotionally and even physically. That's why wishes matter. You can help change lives, benefit your community, and truly make a difference by being a part of the Homes for Love Network, living our values every day. Call 855-964-LOVE or visit homesforlove.com.